Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to compute derivatives using the chain rule. The chain rule is extremely helpful for computing derivatives. It makes computing the derivative for complicated functions a lot easier. Here is the chain rule. Given a function f of g of x, the derivative of that function is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. What we are doing is differentiating the outer layer and not touching the inner layer. Then we differentiate the inner layer and multiply them together. Let's see some examples. First example, we want to compute the derivative of 3x plus 2 squared. We can see that we have to use the chain rule since the function is a composition of f of x and g of x. We see that the outer function f of x is equal to x squared and the inner function g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. First we differentiate the outer function. The derivative of f of x is 2x. Next we differentiate the inner function. The derivative of g of x is 3. Now we can start plugging in values into the chain rule. The derivative of this function is equal to f prime of 3x plus 2 times g prime of x. We can plug in the respective derivatives and get 2 times 3x plus 2 times 3. This simplifies to 18x plus 12. Next example, we want to compute the derivative of sine of x squared. We use the chain rule again for this. The outer function f of x is equal to sine of x, and the inner function g of x is equal to x squared. First, we will compute the derivative of the outer function. The derivative of f of x is equal to cosine of x. Next, we will compute the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of g of x is equal to 2x. Now we start plugging in values into the chain rule. The derivative of the function is equal to f prime of x squared times g prime of x. We plug in the respective derivatives and get cosine of x squared times 2x, our answer. Last example, we want to compute the derivative of e to the 4x squared plus 1. We will use the chain rule again to compute the derivative. The outer function f of x is equal to e to the x, and the inner function g of x is equal to 4x squared plus 1. First, we will compute the derivative of the outer function. The derivative of f of x is equal to e to the x. Next, we will compute the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of g of x is equal to 8x. Now we start plugging in values into the chain rule. The derivative is equal to f prime of 4x squared plus 1 times g prime of x. We plug in the respective derivatives and get e to the 4x squared plus 1 times 8x, our answer. The chain rule may seem difficult at first, but after a lot of practice, it will become a lot easier and quicker to use. For more help or practice on this topic, go to www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.